In this video, you're going to learn how to make a pinch pot monster. So, you first have to make the pinch pot. But before we do that, we also want to make sure we pull away the clay pieces that we need for our monster. So you take your lump of clay, <clears throat> you want to pinch off a piece that's going to be for the monster's tongue, and then you need to decide, well, how many eyes do I want my monster to have? So you pinch off however many pieces you want for the eyes. I think I'm going to have, hmm, I think I'm going to do one eye, one-eyed monster. So here would be the tongue, this would be the eyes, and if you want to make arms for your monster, and then you need to pinch off clay for the arms. So well, what you have left is going to become your pinch pot. All right, so take your clay, roll it into a ball. You can roll it into a ball between your hands or on the clay mat. Another word for a ball shape is sphere. So you want to roll it into a sphere shape or a sphere form. And after you get that done, it doesn't have to be perfect, you're going to take your thumb, press it into the middle, but don't go all the way through, and you're going to make a hole into your, in the middle of your clay. Then you're going to take your thumb and your pointer finger, and you're going to pinch the edges of the clay. So put your thumb back in, pinch, turn, pinch, turn, pinch, turn, and you're going to keep pinching and turning your clay. Notice how the hole's getting larger? This is going to be the mouth of the monster. If your clay starts to crack, you can dip your finger into the slip. Now slip is a mixture of water and clay. So you dip your finger in there and you can wet it just a little bit, not too much because we don't want it to be soggy. All right. So, this is going to be our monster's mouth. So let's set that aside and let's make the tongue. Take it, roll it into a ball. Once you have it into a ball, then you're going to roll back and forth like you're making a snake shape. Roll back and forth, almost like a miniature hot dog. And once you get it to about, mm, to about as long as your finger, not too long, just as long as your finger, then I want you to take your hand and you're going to flatten it. Now there is your tongue. Very good. Now we're going to attach the tongue into the monster's mouth. Now if we just lay it in there, when it dries, it's going to fall out. So what you want to do is take a fork, make scratch lines on the inside of the mouth where the tongue's going to lay, then make scratch lines on the bottom of the tongue that's going to touch the inside of the mouth. The very last part is you have to add slip, which is like glue for clay before you attach the two pieces. And just press firmly down so the two pieces of clay stick together. So there is our monster's tongue. Now we need to make the monster's eye. Now I decided I would go with just one eye, but you're going to do the same for all of them. You roll it into a ball, And then you're going to take this wooden tool that's pointed at the end and you're going to press it into the middle, but don't go all the way through, just press it into the middle. And that is going to be my one eye for my monster. Now again, I can't just lay it on top because when it dries it's going to fall off. So I'm going to take my fork again and make that scratch right where it's going to go. I'm going to scratch the bottom of the eye, I'm going to add some slip, and I'm going to press the two pieces of clay together. 
Oh, it's looking so good. Got the eye and the tongue and the mouth. See, you can open the mouth and close it like he's talking. All right, next we need to add, I would like to add some arms. You could have a one-armed monster, you could have a two-armed monster, whatever you'd like. So start by rolling the clay into a ball. And then you're gonna roll it back and forth like you're rolling out a coil or a snake. Once you get them the right length, it's going to be kind of hard to attach hands. So if you want, you can kind of press down on the end of each of them and then use some of your tools and you can just kind of draw on fingers. because it might fall apart if you try to make little bitty fingers. Now, I'm going to attach the arms to my monster. So again, if the arm's going to go right here, then I need to make the scratch lines with the fork. And then on the end of the arm, add some slip, and then attach it. I'm going to have him waving, so I'm going to bend his arm up. Now smooth that clay from the arm onto the body of the monster so that it really blends in and sticks together. All right. These almost look like horns. All right. Now I'm going to scratch over here. I'm going to scratch right here. Add some slip and attach his arm. Now see I put my finger inside the mouth when I press because if I don't it'll just cave that mouth in. Okay, and smooth that clay over and there is my monster. Oh, it looks so good. Very nice.